for the past two weeks, my students have been working on uh, visual literacy as a means of thinking about ways of teaching critical thinking skills. One of the things I try to get across to students is the powerful opportunity that artwork uh, evokes in terms of speaking to our humanity. You know, we think in pictures, we think in, you know, visual, we're surrounded by uh, propaganda, we're surrounded by advertisements, we're surrounded by all things, but this type of activity is really intended to start encouraging students who are soon to be teachers to encourage their own students to think critically about uh, uh, visual elements. So I think what's interesting about They've done a lot of reading, thinking about different types of theories and strategies for integrating art and secondary social studies. So the purpose of coming here to the Sheldon was to, to begin that process of, of identifying a particular research-based strategy and then identifying specific artworks that they can think about teaching within their own practicum. Because each one of the students that are in my class now, they're in a practicum, either high school or middle school. It's a different way to approach it. So like a lot of social sciences has the stigma of just teachers standing up and lecturing about things. So it's like a really cool way to take students' visual approach to learning, um, which is how a majority of students learn is through visual aids. So it's a really different way to go about it and hopefully like dig deeper into students' critical thinking. And so thinking about the context of where they teach, what are some of the specific works here that I can hone in on to, to speak to a larger theme that I'm trying to get across to the students that I work with. So for this project, um, I think specifically we're looking at how we can integrate this into our practicum. And so right now I'm teaching a freshman civics class. I think the biggest advantage is the accessibility. Being able to walk across campus during a class that we have, view all of these wonderful pieces of art and then being able to take that back and, and use it in a tangible way in a classroom. I'm a senior and this is the first time I've been here. So it's really cool that my professor decided to bring us all here today. Definitely going to come here more often. There is beautiful pieces here. In my experience, both as a classroom teacher and as a teacher educator, those types of experiences for students are just incredibly powerful. And so uh, I want my students to understand the power of, of these types of works and how they can impact their teaching.